We call ourselves city, but we global. And everybody that has a voice is allowed to be vocal. Welcome back everybody, Changing the Youth, City Media. I got with me today, Jay Verano. Yes sir, yes sir, man. Pleasure to be here, man. Thanks man, for having me. I'm, hey, it's a pleasure to have you, man. And it's been, uh, it's been well awaited. Okay, so, Thanks. big year for you. You started off the year pretty up uh, on, on your stuff, man, because uh, you got a, a EP out. Right, right. Five songs. Yeah. Five song EP. Uh, uh, holding on life dreams. Correct. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think I researched, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> man we've been bumping that. Yeah, we got shout to. Shout out to him, man. You got to. Research, man. You got to. You got a couple drops this year. You've been doing your thing, man. Verano's Revenge. Yeah, I got appreciate. some questions on Verano's Revenge too. Gotcha. Gonna ask all that. Let's yeah. get it. We're gonna get into the details of that, man. Um, but yeah, man, you've been doing your thing. EP five songs. All five songs. all five songs have over ten thousand streams. Lord Currently, God, yeah. yeah, and you dropped this EP September fourth. Yeah, yeah, Friday September. Yeah. yeah, so you drop an EP September fourth. Yeah, less than twenty days in, you got blogs writing about you. Right, right, right. Uh, you know, you got a you got a TikTok challenge going on. Yeah, yeah, start right, 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 right. cook, man. <laughs> so, so I think it's safe to say you know how to move uh, your your music, man. So, um, quickly, what are your thoughts about just to read the recent success so far for that EP and everything you got going on? Man, just just hard work, man, really. And, and, and the team around me, like, I surround myself around a group of individuals that, you know, have the same desire as me. So I can't really take all the credit for none of that, you know what I'm saying? I'm just a vessel for God. I write the music, you know, get with Brooks, he mix it up. And yeah. Yeah, man, we just been pushing this. Uh, I, I took a lot of L's before, man. You, you know, got to. If you, <laughs> if you see the, the past, you know, uh, singles and stuff like that, not all of them is where this one is at, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. where, the, where this project is at. So we took a lot of L's before. We we tried different things, different avenues, you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. and this one, we just we just went a different route and, and, and promoted a little bit better. We, we struggled a lot before with post promotion so yeah. you know before the single we promote like crazy and then after it just kind of died down so with this one we just went a different route and and really went to the drawing boards man and just just really put in the work man really yeah. reached what, out to a lot of people what would keep you motivated when you're promoting this uh this ep because a lot of the things we're promoting yeah especially when promoting music is just being in your head about is it being seen Right. Is right. it is is this strategy working? Yeah. But you know the biggest thing is consistency. Correct. Blindness consistency. Consistency. Right. So, um, well, what would you say keeps you guys, uh, foot on foot on the on the pedal with it? Well, man, we know we know that being independent is is not an easy thing. You know what I'm saying? We could easily, you know, sign somewhere else and have them do all that work. But mm -hmm. you know, we we want longevity and and we want everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, not a selfish way, but we want it all, you know? So we know that we just gotta keep pushing that hard work, man. Our motivation uh, definitely comes from knowing that it's, it's not all about the numbers and the success, it's more about impacting, you know, impacting the world. And, at, you know, even if one person listens to the song and DMs us and be like, yo, this song changed my life, then that's already a win for us, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because we, what, what we're doing it for is bigger than us and bigger than success, you know, so. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. much our motivation, man. Yeah, I so see you've been putting kind of like a, a short short snippets out. Um, mm -hmm. You did one on ex explaining dreams and and how kind of you print on, on, I don't know if it was your personal introspec yeah. introspection yeah. of your dreams or were you giving yeah. advice to other people, but yeah, it's yeah. kind of put in a very poetic way. I like this guy, man. <laughs> 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 the the Y'all like it? Come man. on, man. Come on. Appreciate that. Yeah, yeah definitely, yeah. man. Kind of explain it. I thought that was a little bit of a good marketing strategy as okay. well. I don't know if that had anything to do with the EP. Oh, definitely, definitely. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, it was a it was a short motivational video about just uh, like you said, the project is called Holding On Life's Dreams. I think a lot of times we we get afraid of the our dreams and and the calling that God has you know put upon us. And I think with that little video, we wanted to explain that you know it doesn't matter where you at at the moment, as long as you have a dream and 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 God's will. Mm -hmm. 
man, you could you could make it anywhere. You know what I'm saying? And and I just wanted to to motivate you know everybody that is starting to make music. It doesn't even have to be music, man. It could be basketball. It could be anything. You know, a preacher, yeah. anything, man. You know, just just have faith in the Lord and, and put in the hard work, and things are gonna pay off for sure. Yeah. So yeah, that was definitely that. Right. Yes, sir. Music is a beautiful thing, man. Music definitely. is a great thing. I think. Uh, People take music for granted, you know. It's I think it's the most, probably the most archaic form of a uh, tradition that we still have right. as people. Now, uh, yeah, man, music has always been big in my family, man. I had a I had a cousin who was a rapper, shout out to Jizzle, and okay. um, since like since a young and I, he used to be like downstairs. He had a studio. And he was downstairs making music, and I, I just, I was just always fascinated with music, man. Just rhythm and all that, you know. So, you know, I used to go downstairs with him and, and, and try to spit. You know what I'm saying? So it's a little whack joint, but you know what I'm saying. I, man, I, I wrote my first bar. I don't know if y'all know. Uh, it was, it was a rapper named Ray Kwan. He had the, the Tipsy record. The uh, Ray Kwan. Yeah, 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 the uh, one. It come the two. You know what I'm talking okay. about? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I, I wrote that. Yeah. Was like, like. I was like, hey, it come to, you know what I'm saying? And, and I, I was just fascinated with music, man. Ever since then, I, you know, just, I love writing, though, is, is, is my thing. Like, yeah. Writing, it doesn't even have to be music. Like, I used to be in school just writing little stories and all that, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, man, that's really hard. That's Some of the dopest it. lyricists start off kind of with a similar story. You hear a similar story. Like, the infatuation with writing, perfect yeah. words. And, yeah, it does, bro. We was in ISS just right now. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, so this started around, what you said, middle school? Nah, this was, I, I was young, bro. I was in the Bronx. Like, he was a rapper when I was around four or five years old. Mm. Yeah, and we just, ever since then, bro, we just been, you know, I've been so influenced by the music, you know. And I'm from New York, so. Yeah, I, mean, I knew you was. Yeah. I was going to ask you too. Oh, I was right. like, are you from New York? Yeah, of course. As soon as I saw the drip, I came in. Are you from New York? Man. Yeah, bitch. I Both of y'all from New York. You from New York too? Not quite, not quite. Not quite. No, he, you he, from Cali. He from Massachusetts, man. Oh, he's he's from from the <laughs> Shout out to bro. Yeah. But yeah, man, so you know, we was we was heavy on Biggie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nas and all that. And yeah, man, we here now. Okay. okay. So, so what? Um. Those were kind of like one of your bigger inspirations there, Biggie. Yeah, Nas, you know? yeah, Biggie Nas. Fifty Cent was crazy. Fifty Cent don't get enough credit for this. Yo, album. Fifty Cent is yeah. Fifty Cent is yeah. yo. He's that guy, man. Shout out Fifty for real. Shout out Fifty, man. He's so cocky though. It's hard to give him credit. That's right. He don't want to push his head up too much. <laughs> he boosts his own head up. Yeah, for real. facts. Shout out Fifty for real. All right, that's word. That's word, man. So, 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 Jay Verano, Verano, yeah. Verano. Yeah. Was the name that you came up with or yeah. was given to you, right? As your career started, where did that name originate from? Yeah, Jay Verano, man. Uh, my government name is Joseph, and everybody just called me Jay since I was a young boy. So Jay has always been there. Like nobody really called me Joseph or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But um, when I when I started taking music seriously, I wanted to go by Jake J. And my cousin just was like, yo, that ain't it, man. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Stuck like in the 80s, yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My cousin was like, yo, that ain't it, man. But, yo, like, he, he, he named me Verano. Because Verano in Spanish means summer, summertime. Okay. So, you know, he said I got that summertime flow. And yeah. I just stuck to me, you know what I'm saying? It is. I think your whole, your whole like, yeah, your whole vibe, the whole... Yeah. yeah, yeah, he he was on point with that. Yeah, yeah, you know, I went to a lot of summer school too. You know oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. you keep giving. Hey, okay, we got it. We yeah, got to be honest. What man, that's about, right. man? Because <laughs> I see you, I see you, I see the way you articulate yourself, the way you move and stuff like that. Right. I'm thinking you was a 3.5. Ah man, I wish man. GPA student on average, you know. Not quite, man. Not quite. What was, what was <laughs> up with school? What was what was the big? Uh, what was the difficulty in that? Uh man. I would say just I, I couldn't get it together, man. I couldn't pay attention, man. Literally, like mm -hmm. I like I said, man. I was always writing. Like I just could never understand math and mm -hmm. stuff like that. I mean, I I did what I had to do to be in the basketball team, but that was a, that was it for me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That was, and even at that, like my last year, it was you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The grades wasn't there for yeah. me, but yeah, man. 
you know, I was uh, I was watching an interview with uh, it's a cat in Florida. I forget who did the interview. Okay. But it was with X. Okay. And he was talking about school, and and his thing was when he was in school, he always felt like he was so far mentally. Word. So far out. Exactly. Uh, and it's not like. He just felt like he was he was on a different wave than everybody else, not to knock what everybody else. Right, was on, right. But you just thinking about so much. Everything else. Yeah, and, and I think that's a natural like, if you're an entrepreneur or an artist or somebody that's, you know, other. Yeah. Other than everybody else, it's just a thing. Yeah, bro. You are always thinking, bro. Yeah. Like, constantly thinking about you know something else, and 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 I used to really like. I just wanted to make it, bro. You feel me? So I was always thinking of ways to like, just school wasn't just for me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I, I still, I still, you know, I still graduated. I went to college for a little bit. You know what I'm saying, but it just wasn't, it just wasn't for me. And I don't knock it for nobody that's doing it. You know, get your stuff, get it. You know, graduate, do your thing, but it just wasn't for me. Yeah. For me. Yeah. yeah. We call ourselves city, but we global, and everybody that has a voice is allowed to be vocal.